Hey guys, I'm going to show you a quick tutorial of those people who don't know how to use iMovie and this is just for beginners. I'm sorry for my cursor lag if that bothers anybody. Alright, so as soon as you boot your Mac or log on, you'll see a star icon in your, your doc. <laughs> sorry. You'll see a star icon and just click on it. Now you open iMovie. And to make a new project, just go on to File, New Project, <clears throat> and name it whatever you want. I'll just call it Sample. And you could pick one of these themes that they have comic book, scrapbook, film strip, bulletin board. And you could select your aspect ratio for an iPhone, a standard, or a widescreen is what I use for my videos. And you can automatically add transition and titles if you want. So I'm just going to select the bulletin board and automatically add, well, nah. So then just click create. Now it'll have a new project. To import, just click file, import movies, or movie. And then to search your computer for it, like movies right here. And then it'll load. The one movies that you made from Photo Booth and all that stuff. So after you do that, when you import, I'm just going to take a sample video from this right here. Drag it in. It's going to come up here, down here. Then click spacebar to start the movie. All right, and you can record easily for my movie. Just click this right here, and then it'll open up. I know my computer is going slow today, and then it'll open things up, and then you capture it. You just click capture, and then when you're done, just click done. And you can choose your camera that you're using, and of course you have a built-in eyesight. So after you do that. You can add titles or pictures or transitions, anything you want. These are the titles. And to add one, take it, drag it in, and put it where you want it. And then just type in anything you want. And then just click or type. Then click done. And then when you play it, oh, come on. And you can have some options like fonts. Just highlight your text. And I like this font. So I can do that. Then click done. And then it'll come up how you want it. To put in music, you just click on this little music icon. You can select where you want the music from. And then use all your songs. And to put in a song, just you could put in um, like anything. Let's put in this one. And then it plays. And then to put in some pictures, you could just have like, well, any pictures. So you can just like, I'll just put in this, I guess. I can just put it in and then if I want like, I never really use this green screen option. It's kind of confusing. Well, I never really took the time to use it, but I guess it comes up like that. Hmm, it's pretty cool. But that's the green screen. I'm pretty sure that was an, that's an update for it. Or if you want to drag in a picture, you could try it. You can use just insert, cutaway, replace it, picture in picture, and I'm just gonna put replace them. And then it's gonna just replace the whole thing like that. And then this is going to eventually, I'll just do that. And it looks pretty cool. So yeah, you have the green screen effect. Put in a transition. Take this. Just put it anywhere. It's going to come up at the beginning. So it comes up like that. And then you can have, this is a pretty cool thing that I like. And it creates a world map. And what it does is... You put a location, and then it'll put that location into another location. 
I know my computer's lagging. I'm just gonna close. And that's pretty much how you do it. Thank you for watching.